the guy. Asian pop stars now come and go, but now one man has been playing with some of the biggest names in the charts for over 10 years, and not a lot of people have heard of him. See, Ibrahim, never heard of him. Who is he? Well, I've heard of, simply read uh, Stone Roses, Ian Brown, but I've never heard of him, no. Does uh, Ian Brown music, is that right? And uh, they've done some Stone Roses stuff. Yeah, it's good. Aziz Ibrahim is renowned in music circles as one of Britain's top guitarists. His impressive list of credits dates back to work with the Stone Roses, the Christians, the Rebel MC, PM Dawn, and to start with, Simply Red. A new has come. I first came in the public eye th through Simply Red. Um, that was 1987. I was doing reggae bands like for four or five years, and, and Mick was heavily into reggae at the time. So he was looking for somebody who had knowledge of that, but could also play his music. And Mick asked me if I was prepared to do this world tour and join Simply Red. And I kind of remember saying to him that I'll have to look at my diary first and see if I'm clear for the rest of the year. And then uh, I kind of put the volume down. I was going, yes, thank you, God, thank you, yes. Jumping up and down the room. The sudden departure of John Squire from the Stone Roses in 1996 prompted Aziz to join the band hailed by many as the most influential since the Beatles. I got a chance to play with him when uh, Mr Squire left the Stone Roses and uh, we had to get someone who could really wallop the guitar, you know, and Aziz fitted the bill perfectly for that. I think even at that stage there, the whole world was ready for the Stone Roses. It was probably the UK's biggest group at the time. It was definitely the coolest group. Uh, it influenced the whole country in terms of fashion, and the clothes we wear, the, the hats that kids are wearing, the baggy jeans, the whole baggy scene. They were probably the most influential band at the time, and still are. Following mixed reviews, the band split later that year. Aziz has continued working with lead singer Ian Brown, co-writing and co-producing his comeback singles. Did a whole album, produced and we mixed and wrote everything and all our own parts and it was just different to any other album that was out. The album was released in February this year. The gamble paid off with it reaching number four on the charts and receiving almost universal critical acclaim. There's a big difference about Ian Brown's band to any other band. It's probably the most cosmopolitan band going. I mean, you know, we've got a Muslim, a, a Sikh, a Jehovah's Witness, Christian, um, and a very spiritual guy, uh, Ian Brown. So there's, there's a real spiritual vibe about the band. It's a cultural pot. Just that Asian vibe is there constantly through every song. And it, maybe it's not on the album, uh, only through my guitar playing. Um, There's the certain aspects and certain sounds to the things I hear on the, the Ian Brown album, which just to me he's captured the real raw spirit of, of the roses. His Eastern influences are not that obvious. I mean, you, you, in modern day pop music, you would sitar are Eastern influences. He's more percussive in a lot of ways, he's done a lot of uh, the programming. Uh, so his Eastern influences, although undoubtedly they're there, they're, they're not as obvious as, say, Corner Shop or maybe Asian Dub Foundation. People used to say there's, a, there's something Eastern about it, but I can't put my finger on it, which is what I've always tried to achieve, that kind of integration of being British, being born in this country, but still being Pakistani. I could say that growing up here in Longside, I've kind of... <laughs> Um, listen to Asian music all my life because you know your mum and dad play um, Bollywood films all the time. Um, I heard everything and it all appealed to me because it was like Eastern music and Western music, so different. And but rock music was guitar music, so I really got into that. It's got a good grounding in in jazz and funk, also in in rock music, Western. <laughs> Also classically trained in all the Asian classical styles of music as well. Eastern sitar. So the fusion of those two styles is not a very often heard thing, but I think that's what sets them aside from everybody else. Uh, Chinese kotos.
the difference that Aziz makes to guitar playing is that I think is the fact that he can virtually play anything, turn his hand to anything. It makes him very special. It's all in the hands. With a little help from Manny, Aziz is currently working on his first solo project. I've started working on this solo album and I've, I've stayed in touch with Manny. And he's a great player and I just wanted him to play the bass lines for me. The album promises a further array of exciting collaborations, not only with Manny, but former Jimi Hendrix bassist Noel Redding and Paul Weller, to name but a few. I wouldn't say it was a band as such, but it's a concept album where I've got some fine players and some you know, very charismatic players appearing on this album of mine, so I'm hoping it'll do really well. I think the future, as easy as future, holds many great things. You know, he, he's got his thing going with Ian Brown at the minute, he's got his solo thing, you know. He can do whatever he wants, you know, the guy's got a rare talent. I hope he gets everything he deserves, because he's worked hard for it for a long time. Competition time.